I have eight things you need to know about Versace Eros EDT, so let's jump right in. This is like buying gold for the price of silver. Eros can be purchased for between $60 and $70. For a Versace fragrance, this is absolutely insane. The only other fragrance that can compete with this great cost for value is Versace Dylan Blue, and it just so happens that it is a Versace fragrance as well. Now the next thing, women are attracted to this like bees to honey. It was popularized as a clubbing scent and it makes so much sense because this is one of the most complimented fragrances for men. It also helps as this is an above average performer. Now I wouldn't consider it beast mode, but it definitely will last all day and will always make your presence known. Now the next thing you do need to keep in mind is that this is the most hated fragrance for men. So all this negative energy that's circling around Aero, so don't buy it, it's too popular, whatever, whatever, just take this with a grain of salt. Now the fifth key point, you do need to listen to this part carefully. This is the EDT version or short for Eau de Toilette. It is the original from the line. There are three other concentrations of Eros, but this one has the best cost for value. When you are buying, you are looking for the EDT version. It will have Eau de Toilette written on the front of the bottle. Now the sixth thing you need to know, and this never gets mentioned, even though this was popularized as a clubbing scent, it is criminally underrated as an all occasion fragrance. You just have to moderate your sprays. If you know you're gonna be in close quarter settings or it'll be hot outside, I recommend four. And I am gonna put some on right now for good measure. So one on each side of the neck and then two on the back of the neck. This is the typical spray routine that I'm going to use when I'm uh, just wearing Eros. But if you are going out, just go ahead and douse yourself. You can put six sprays on if you really want to. Now the seventh thing you need to know, this is as popular as Taylor Swift and as ripped off as a pair of Yeezys. I'm not gonna talk about any of its dupes in this video, but there are a bunch. This popularity is why it's so hated, but honestly, it doesn't matter because you're gonna smell so good that women are just going to want to know who and where the scent is coming from rather than if they've smelled it before. Now the eighth key point, the scent is a very awakening and attention grabbing freshness of spicy mint. Then a sea of sexy and rich vanilla just wraps you in this blanket of warmth for the rest of the wear. Of all parts of the fragrance, the vanilla is going to get you the most amount of attention. Eros' scent is always bold, defining, and very masculine. If you like Eros but want more fragrances for going out, check out this video. 